management's doing everything you said they're doing. They want the whites to be afraid of losing their jobs. Well, the Negroes are hired are desperate for work, but to make sure there are no union sympathizers, they tell them if there is a union, the whites are going to get rid of the coloreds. And they're paying the Negroes 20% less than everyone else. You know I'm going to use this. That's why I gave it to you. If they're going to beat the union, they should beat them fair and square. They. On this one, they're they. Brush, curling iron, eyebrow pencil, eyebrow pencil, nail polish, nail polish. Don't you think Mr. Khan has pretty eyes? A woman my age doesn't notice. Well, I could be 90 years old with one foot in the grave. I'd still notice things like that. Ginger, are you sure you feel comfortable traveling all that way with Jeff? Comfortable? Well, you know how long I've dreamed of going to Hollywood? I meant comfortable traveling alone. If I won't be alone, I'll be with Jeff. I mean alone with Jeff. Oh, Mrs. Metcalf, your son is, is the most g gentlemanly gentleman. I know he is. But do you think it's prudent being alone together all that time? Won't the temptation be more than it has to be? Well, from the minute we step off the bus, there'll be a chaperone. Hollywood chaperones. You ready? You bet. Um, you don't think there are good chaperones in Hollywood? Oh, you read as well as I do the kind of things they do out there. Well, no matter what they're like, we'll still be Buckeyes. Don't you worry. All right. Wish us uh, luck. Oh. I'll pray the whole time you're gone. Oh, I made sandwiches for the bus. So what look is this? What, what do you mean, what look? Who are you supposed to be now? This is me, you ninny. Thanks, Mrs. Metcalf. Oh. Or... Goodbye. Are you out of your mind? Have you got sawdust for brains or what? Management is using you to get what they want. They're depending on you to react that way. They set a trap and you fell right in. It was a very good trap, Dad, because this cracker ignorant as they come. Don't you know enough to hate the ignorance and not the man? I, now, have your father and I been talking to ourselves all these years? I cannot separate this man from his ignorance. You have to. You're probably the first colored person I've ever said more than two words to in my whole life. And no matter what I say, he acts like I'm insulting and stupid. He can learn. Learn what? A little history, maybe. You probably never saw a help wanted advertisement that said no Irish need apply, or restaurant signs that said no Irish or dogs allowed, but I'll bet your money your grandmother did. For centuries, your ancestors were treated by the British the same way Negroes are treated today. Why don't you try to concentrate on what you have in common? We both walk upright, we both breathe air. That's about it. No, you are both wage earners who, who, who sweat through the same 10-hour days. You're both union members. You're both Americans. You're both veterans. Veterans? The colored soldiers were behind lines slinging hash while me and my buddies were getting our butt shot at. You know, the density of your brain would baffle Einstein. Charlie Davis was at the bulge. I was at the bulge. I was 4th Infantry. And there were no colored soldiers at the bulge. Davis was in the 761st Tank Battalion. And without them, your 4th Infantry sad sex wouldn't have had a path to follow. I have never heard of any colored soldiers at the bulge. Well, neither have 140 million other Americans, and that is because nobody ever told them. It is not my job to educate 140 million people. We are talking about educating one man. Being ignorant is not your fault. Staying ignorant is. He's a man of passion. I cannot help but to hear. He comes on a little strong, if you ask me. As if everything I never knew was my fault. We were told that the colors only worked as cooks and in the quartermaster corps. That's what we were told. And who told you that silly business about the tails? I don't remember. I heard it when I was a kid. It makes you wonder what else you were told that wasn't true. 
talking about silly business, Miss England, now that you mention it, you're all the time talking about the Irish. That they all drink like fish. They do all drink like fish. All Irish? All the Irish I know. I'm Irish. I better get myself a beer and prove you're right. <laughs> Go on. Ah, they say all Sicilians, they start fights. And every Siciliano I ever met, they start a fight. Nobody starts fights like the Germans. Germans. Oh, the Germans. They should all be locked up. Disgraziati. I hate the Germans. The Germans. I think I can get these to the post office by midnight. Okay. Thanks for working late. I'll see you tomorrow. Listen, I'm sorry if I got you in trouble with your mother. We always fight like that. Good. Uh, then, that is, then I'm glad it wasn't worse. Uh, tell her I'm sorry if I inconvenienced her. Okay. Good night. You're up late. I couldn't sleep with Jeff out of the house. Where you been? Another union meeting. Where was that? Al's hotel room. Was there enough space? No. We'll find a bigger space next time. Linda. I'm sorry you were inconvenienced. He said the same thing. Sorry you were inconvenienced. Sorry he inconvenienced you. Tell him 